All that glitters is gold here, at an archaeological dig just below the walls of the old city of Jerusalem. Wow. Earlier this week, British volunteer Nadine Ross found 264 gold coins dating back to the Byzantine Empire. Ross has taken four weeks off from her job as an engineer in England to work on this site and has had no formal archaeological training. Now, however, she's caught the archaeological bug and maybe a bit of gold fever. To be honest, I just thought, thank God I didn't throw it in the rubbish bucket. <laughs> um, I was just glad I'd sort of spotted it before I disturbed it too much. Um, but yeah, and it is a pity that I can't take it home with me, but there you go. The coins were minted during the reign of Byzantine Emperor Heraclius just before the city was conquered and sacked by an invading Persian army. 1,400 years ago, when these dwellings were in use, there were no banks, there were no bankers, there wasn't even a banking crisis. So if you just so happen to have 264 solid gold coins, a major fortune at the time, you had to put that money somewhere. You either buried it under the floor or you hid it in the walls. The coins, says Doron Ben Ami of the Israeli Antiquities Authority, are proof positive of the age of these ruins. This is the, 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 the real dream of archaeologists, so to say. To find an item that has a, a absolute chronological significance, like this one, this is one of the, 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 the real dreams of us archaeologists. Archaeology, forget Indiana Jones, is hard, tedious work. I gave it a try and came up with... Ashes. There's a lot in this room. I'm sure, however, there is more gold in these hills. Ben Wiedemann, CNN, Jerusalem.